you are controlled by one thing, one thing. Hi, this is John Ruman, and if we have not met before, I'm an international business coach and consultant whose passion is to help you achieve a life of mastery, great success, and unbelievable happiness and fulfillment. So let me tell you what I believe is the overarching controller of you, your beliefs. And if I even want to take that one small step further, what you know. So, and let me tell you what I mean before you start freaking out on me. And by the way, I expect lots of love and strong feelings of emotion from everyone, and that's okay. All I'm trying to tell you is how the mind works. So we look for things that are things that support our way of thinking and believing. Hey, noble child, good to see you. And how that works is it reinforces our beliefs. And, and just so you know, a little understanding of the human mind is from the day you're born to a, the day you turn seven, the brainwave state and I forget which brainwave state, I think it's Delta, but don't quote me, it's in a form that would be analogous to um, like when you're in hypnosis or in a trance. And the reason is your brain is susceptible in, a, in that state to learning. And obviously people are, are suggestible in their hypnosis, which is why it's a form of therapy. It's very effective, but it's important to understand that children actually are in this hypnotic state. So what happens once they hit the age of seven is most, not all, but most of their beliefs are actually ingrained with them. And the reason is they need to stay alive. In order to stay alive, you need to be accepted by your tribe. You need to know what keeps, what is okay for everyone. And if your tribe does not love you, they will kick you out and you will die. So you need to know what makes a tribe okay. Doesn't mean, mean it's right, doesn't mean it's wrong. This is not a judgment, but it does have a, a lifelong impact unless you take the time and effort to actually overrule those beliefs. And here's the challenge with beliefs. Once you're over age of seven, and it even becomes more challenging once you're over the age of 35. And hey, good evening, Zavon. I am over the age of 35. I am 41, I believe. And it is hard for someone of my age and older. So hello, those of you who are of the beautiful age of me or older or over 35. It's more challenging for us to actually change than it is for those who are younger than 35 for whatever reason. I think the, the brain, the wiring the brain is stronger. It doesn't mean it can't be overwritten and new brainwave patterns and new connections can be made. It's just more challenging to overwrite them. Just understand that that's how it works. So what happens is when someone knows that is such a level of belief that they're not even willing to budge, but what happens is when you know, that changes how you talk to yourself. So if you know you're brilliant, your brain will show you ways to say, I'm brilliant. I'm brilliant. I am unbelievably brilliant. Don't you know I'm brilliant? I'm brilliant. And it will find things in the outside world that will show you you're brilliant. And you will act in ways that you feel represent someone of brilliance because you're brilliant. Which is why a, if you have parents or have children who tell children how magnificent they are, how brilliant they are, how, how powerful they are, how they are children of God and all these amazing empowering things, that person, once they're older, is an entirely game-changing person and, and really believes in great potential versus the, those who are beaten physically, emotionally, and, and feel simply terrible and, and actually almost um, fearful of, of their parents without understanding why they're scared of them in some respect. But anyway, um, you will filter, your actions will filter that. So if you are raised in a household that believes that money's bad or that money's hard to come by or you have to work your, <clears throat> your bottom off to earn the money that it takes to survive, you will act in such a way that it's hard. If you believe making money is easy breezy and it's, and it's as simple as a walk on a Sunday afternoon, okay? If you believe that, 
making money is that easy. If you believe that um, being physically fit is easy, if you believe that being lean and healthy is easy, have you met someone who, uh, let's say you have a challenge with sweets, have you met someone who whenever they, they eat sweets, they're like, the desserts love me. The desserts love me. I don't gain a pound. I love these and they love me and I don't gain a pound. And they're like skinny as a rail and they eat everyone else's desserts because they're getting too fat with their half a bite. Do you know that person? <laughs> Isn't the worst? But what happens is they believe and they know that that is true. So their body will act in such a way to create that environment. The reason I bring this up is not to say, oh, shoot, I'm screwed up. Don't worry. Most people are. We are all very well programmed to believe certain programs. But the beautiful thing is you can overwrite your programs. And there are techniques. Actually, I mentioned one earlier, hypnosis. There are other techniques, EFT. There are forms of very, very powerful self-talk that can overwrite. There are... Um, and there's probably 10 to 15 different things if I would actually write them out that you can actually do consistently that slowly and steadily will help you to become a new greater version of yourself that is separate than the old you. So if you are unhappy with a version of yourself and, and you are finding that you are not living to the potential that you want which by the way for most of us is a, um, a reaction to what we have. So for example, um, let, 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 me, let me restate that. So most of us have these habits that reinforce what we want and we say, I want that. So money is a big one. A lot of people say, I'm just not, I don't have the money. I want to be abundantly wealthy. And, and I, 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 I want to live the good life. I want to travel six months out of the year. I, I want that life. And, and then you ask them and you just, and this is a challenging conversation because people have to really address what they truly feel. And you ask them, how do you actually feel about how much money you make? Describe what that makes you feel. And if it doesn't make you feel good and happy about yourself and about the income, you won't get more income because you're, you will subconsciously push it away. Same thing with your savings, same thing with your ability to invest, same thing with, how well you manage debt. That doesn't have to be a bad thing. It's your belief towards it. So understanding it and how you react and address these things can literally reshape you. So money's a big one. Um, and I actually have spent, so I do coaching every day. And if you look at uh, this corner on my, uh, my, my Facebook page, you see that. And one of the things I've begun to spend more and more time with is the mindset of the business owners because they spend so much time busting their bottom to make things work and they just don't and usually they just self-sabotage and they can't help it because of these beliefs so if you are challenged like all of us are in one or more of these things and you would like help with this this is something i can actually work with you with on coaching to create an environment that's very helpful and i'll give you one last thing because i got about I like to keep my, my lives under 10 minutes. So I have one more thing I'd like to, uh, that would be very, very, very helpful. And I talk about this all the time. Upgrade your tribe. If, if, and we'll use the finances. If you are not living the financial life that you want, the easiest way to become more wealthy or whatever that upgrade is, is to upgrade the people you're with. If they talk bad about their money, if they um, are just pissing and moaning about being poor, if they're complaining about doing bills, if, if these things are happening on a regular consistent basis, you need to spend less time with them and more people who are excited about the opportunities they have in their life when it comes to money, how they're elated about their paycheck. And they're like, yeah, I got paid and I had a sale today. I'm so excited. Let's, let's celebrate. If you hang out with people more of that way, who, for example, in their business, get excited about growing their business, you will naturally find that you are more successful. That's the easiest way. So thank you for watching. Any questions, please send me feedback. I appreciate you. And I look forward to hearing how you become more successful by understanding this. Thanks so much.